using the mega matrix this is the four inch and we got it on our special h and h half ounce jig head that's a four odd which really helps out fitting that lure right see if we can catch some big ones with the old avocado we'll go over some history of how popular this avocado used to be in lake Pontchartrain and just why Baby, up we go with another beautiful Lake Pontchartrain trout on that mega avocado. So, that's first couple fish of the day on that four inch mega on that four on H and H. You can use a three eighths or a half, that's going to yield some really nice trout. All right, right now, what we have is a Hard falling tide, bucket of east wind. This happens a lot in the spring. The fish feed on this situation all the time, but this is a little tricky. A lot of anglers don't understand that the tide's actually falling because they're simply looking at the waves going from east to west, but what's really happening is the water's moving from west to east. So when that happens, we like to fish the east side. That's the side we're on now. now let me give you a little bit of history on avocado with red flake. This lure, that's a very common lure color in all species of fish across the entire globe. But here in Lake Pontchartrain, this lure, the avocado, was the most popular lure when I was growing up as a kid. That was the color. Uh, Captain Deadly Dudley caught his big 10 pounder back in. I think it was 2001, if I'm not mistaken, on an avocado Dudley. And uh, right, right in that same week, Terry Guggins caught a 10 pounder on an avocado lure, I think a hybrid. And um, back then, when I was growing up, you couldn't even find avocado lures on the shelves because they were so hot and everybody was sold out. That's what everybody used out here was av avocado. And what a lot of the old timers say is, what a Speckled trout's favorite foods is what they call an oyster worm. And it's got like, they kinda, if you were gonna pick a color shade that favors what an oyster worm looks like, it would be that avocado, avocado colored um, shade. And obviously we're not mimicking an oyster worm because we're fishing with a paddle tail minnow, but that's what they used to, that's what a lot of old timers talk about is how much trout love oyster worms. And back in that day when I used to ask Terry and them why they like avocado so much, that's what they used to tell me was that they really, uh, they like that color because the trout are eating oyster worms out here. Nevertheless, whether all of that, all those theories are true or not, trout do love the avocado color. And we're going with the four inch today just to eliminate some of those 12 to 14 inch fish. You know, the bigger the bait, the more you're gonna catch those 18 to 20 inches and put yourself in a position to get a real big one, you know. Big trout eat big, small baits, don't get me wrong, but little trout really like small baits. So you might get less bites, but you're gonna get a real nice quality of fish. Let's see if we can get another one. Fish, I don't know if it's a trout though. Might be a cat or a red. What we got here? Man, these fish are 
fish. Digging up underneath the boat. Look at that catfish. Look at that gorilla, guys. That's an animal. Let me get the net here. The bogey grip will probably work. Boy, not what we're going after, but definitely a fun fight. Again, he chomped down on that Mega Matrix. Might have to do some surgery to get this one out. We can go ahead and let this dude go. But this is very common in the lake in the winter and up into the spring, early spring. Very edible fish. That's not a hard head. That's not a sail cat. That's a blue cat. Very good eating. But we're going after trout. I'm going to just keep a few trout today. I didn't really feel like messing with that big boy. But another species on the avocado mega matrix. All right, so here's your mega matrix. It's a blue pack. That way you don't get it confused with the regular matrix, the three inch. This is the four inch model. And you want to use a four odd hook like we do, we have here on this H and H, three eighths and half ounce. I believe this is the half. Either one will work fine. Just like a matrix, you're gonna come in, come in the head there, about an inch, maybe a little more. Push it all the way up. Sometimes when it gets stuck, I'll just spin it. Push it all the way up and boom, there you go. You want it to be nice and straight, just like that. The four aught makes that hook exposed pretty good. That way when a fish hits it, you can set the hook on him and be back ready to catch another one. This is a little bit smaller. It just shows you that even the little guys can chomp down on them bigger baits. Nice little fish on that avocado mega. One thing it looks like we're going to probably avoid this year is the uh, opener to Bonacary spillway. Hallelujah. Cross my fingers that something crazy doesn't happen, but it looks like we're going to miss the opener to Bonacary, which means. We're not going to have to travel as far during the spring and early summer to catch these speckled trout. The last few years we've been having to really go far distances to catch speckled trout in the spring and summer due to the abundance of fresh water. So, we've still got somewhat of a high Pearl River. It's not the saltiest I've ever seen it by no means, but we shouldn't have to go out to Lake Bourne and further as early as we have been the last few years. These fish ought to sit on the trestle maybe all the way through some of June, definitely some of May. Right now we're in the early part of the spring. Not quite in peak season yet, but right on the beginning run. And it's just nice to be able to fish. We got crystal clear green water, good Lake Pontchartrain, clean stuff. This is the way the lake's supposed to look. But we've had a Bonacary spillway open in seven, the last seven years or something crazy. So it should be a nice spring for everybody to be able to enjoy the Pontchartrain Basin. Meaning Lake Bourne will be just as good too when we get into June and July.
little bit of fun fishing. Finish out the day before the sun goes down. Catch a beautiful trout like this on the Mega Matrix and the Avocado with the big H and H four aught jig head. These products will be in your monthly subscription box this month. So make sure to try your hand at some big trout on some big baits. Hope you enjoyed a little history lesson of just how much this avocado was used back in the day and some of those 10 pound trout that were caught out in this lake on this color. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to the Matrix Bay Box, and until next time, good fishing.